Hello and welcome to this video on PP Inc, a screen annotation software. It hides in the tray when it's uh, first run. Here it is. If I click on it now, it'll bring up this toolbar, which you can click and drag around the screen to do different positions. You can select a pen colour and you can draw on the screen. There are shapes like rectangles that you can uh, mark out, things like arrows. So it's quite a uh, handy little utility. You can hide the drawings, you can trash them totally here, and you can uh, change pen widths by adjusting that and put a thicker arrow. We go back to pen scribble, that's thicker. There are a whole lot of options. If you want to change the settings, close the toolbar, PP Ink will still be in the tray here, and right click the PP Ink icon, go to options, and then you can set the uh, pen width, standard pen width for all the pens, or some general options in there. I'm not going to go through those now. So it's a handy free uh, program if you're looking at some screen annotation. I'll close that. One other thing I perhaps could show you, if I click PP Ink, uh, there is a zoom tool there. If I click that, and there's a zoom tool that enables you to zoom in on things on the screen. I'll turn that off again. Uh, if you wanted to um, just use the mouse, you can use this icon here. If I go back to scribble, say you were doing some scribbling or some drawing. I'm not sure what's happened there. I think it's somehow zoomed in on a section of screen. If you get uh, lost like that, just press escape. And then back to PP Ink. So it can be a little bit buggy. Uh, back to the scribble. Oh, that changes the type of scribble it's filled in. That's uh, cut out a section. Okay, let's just try that. Yep. But say you didn't want to draw on the screen, you just wanted the mouse. You click on this big mouse arrow there, and then it, it enables you to, you know, double click on folders and do things that you would normally do with a mouse. Anyway, perhaps worth a look. PP Ink. Thanks for watching.